From disappearing in a puff of smoke to blinding their opponents to stopping a sword with their hands. Hey guys, I'm Chris and here are 9 amazing ninja weapons. Number 9. Black Eggs The ninja were legendary for their mystical powers. And one of their most famous feats is that of disappearing in a puff of smoke, like Batman, which led to pop culture and various TV shows and movies using this feat as a classic ninja move. So how did they do this? By using an egg known as the Mitsubishi Egg, or the Black Egg. It might seem odd that a ninja would use an egg as a weapon, but interestingly enough, this was also used by ancient samurai police as a blinding weapon. The ninja then adapted it for themselves. So what they would do is they would find a bird egg, hollow it out, and then insert a type of substance that they wanted to use against their opponents. Then when they were confronted by a samurai or other foe, they could crush the egg in their hand and then blow or throw the contents into the attacker's eyes. <laughs> the best part about this was that it made the black eggs very versatile in terms of being a weapon. It could have simple dust in it or pepper or even crushed glass. All of which would irritate the eyes of the enemy, maybe a samurai who because of their helmets always had their eyes exposed and would give the illusion that they had vanished in an instant. Thus the legend of them disappearing in a puff of smoke was born. Number 8. Ninja 2 when you think about a Japanese sword, your mind is no doubt going to the legendary katana that the samurai used, and that sword makers all over the world still use to this day. And while it's true that the ninja did use the katana themselves at first, the ninja 2 is one of their more famous sword creations. Or so people claim. Interestingly, there is no physical proof that the Ninja 2 was used by ninja in feudal Japan. But that might have been the whole point. Regardless, it's believed that the Ninja 2 was based on the legendary katana. With a few simple differences in order to give the ninja the advantage in regards to assassination and fights. First and foremost, the curve of the katana is not found in the Ninja 2. This was for ease of drawing the sword from the sheath, which was a very important thing to the ninja. For that reason, the ninja 2 was actually a bit shorter than the katana. But the ninja would hide this fact by having a longer sheath than the blade itself. This allowed them to perform the art of the quick draw, ensuring that they get the first strike on their foes. A handy trick considering the ninja wore no armor. A sword would also have a strap and hefty handguard so that they could use them to climb things, making their swords truly multi-purpose. So cool. Number 7. Shuriken Easily one of the most famous and most desired among the ninja weapons is that of the shuriken, or the ninja throwing stars. But they didn't start out that way. Rather, they were used as a self-defense tool by many people. But then the ninja adapted them and used them for both up-close combat as well as projectiles as seen in infinite amounts of TV shows and movies. And also Batman. If you're curious why they would be used close up, depending on the variation of the shuriken, they would have multiple pointed blades. So when grasped the right way, they could deliver a stab or slash on the foe. And given that ninja like to be agile and fight to their own skills, that would make them very useful. Plus, given the way samurai armor worked, they would use the small shuriken to sneak into the weak spots of their armor that things like swords would have a much harder time doing. Then there was the throwing action, which could be used to distract and temporarily stop a foe in their tracks as they try and stop the spinning blades headed their way. Ninjas would even dip the shuriken in poison to give themselves an extra edge. As if all this wasn't enough, the shuriken are small, and so ninjas could load up on them, deal the damage needed, and then retrieve them with very little effort. Number 6. Kama What people often forget is that while the samurai are praised for being noble warriors of Japan, not everyone in Japan thought that at the time. And ninjas were often the oppressed people the noble warriors were taking advantage of. This would include farmers, which is why one of the famous weapons of the ninja is the Kama, which is a sickle-like weapon. 
The comma was not intended for warfare at first, but as a simple tool to cut crops or weeds while working in the fields. Then, when the ninja were born, they would use the original karma as a base plate to make their own versions of the sickle. Because of its small size, they were easy to hide in their garb, and sometimes the ninja wouldn't even wear their outfit as the samurai approached. They would pretend to work in the fields, wait for the samurai to lower their guards, and then attack. The small size also allowed them to dual wield the weapon and strike quickly, giving them even more options in battle. To this day, the karma is used in various martial arts training. Number 5. Kasanigama The ninja were never opposed to adopting weapons to their own cause, and the Kasanigama is a great example of that. This sickle and chain weapon was originally for people who would not be allowed to wield a sword, so they could use this for self-defense. The ninja popularized it though, and they got so good with it that they actually grew their legendary status through the use of it. At first, it may seem like a very odd weapon as it has a sickle or comma at the head of it, then a chain, then a weight. The purpose of this weapon was to lunge the weight at the samurai and then strike them or get the weight to wrap around their sword or sword arm. When done right, it can either strip them of the weapon, leaving them helpless, or they can be reeled in for a finishing blow by the sickle. That all being said, this was not a weapon to be used by a novice. The ninja had to train hard to master this weapon, and that's why they were all the more deadly once they did have it mastered. Number 4. Blowgun while ninjas were definitely the enemies of the samurai, they were also guns for hire, so to speak. They were more than open to committing assassinations for certain high-ranking individuals, and one of their more infamous techniques for doing this was their use of blowguns. Used around the world by various cultures, the blowgun is often a rod or chute that contains a dart on the inside of it. The tip of the dart is most often poison-filled in one form or another. The person merely needs to line up the shot, fire with an exhale, and strike their foe. But for the ninja, they knew that they needed to evolve this, so they would make their blowguns with camouflage in mind. They would make it seem like a natural part of the environment so no one would be suspicious. An example would be if they needed to be in the water to strike their opponent. They would make the chute look like a water reed or bamboo, then slowly angle it and fire. Plus, given its size and coloring it in the right way, it's easy to conceal in darkness, ensuring that the ninja didn't tip off their enemies. Number 3. Ninja Hand Claws Ninja wore light cloth as their armor so that they would be more flexible and thus allow them to get to hard-to-reach places in order to find and kill their foes. This sometimes required them to climb high places, and they used shuko or hand claws to do just that. While not technically a weapon, though it could be used as one in a pinch like a wild animal, the shoko were able to help the ninja climb things, like stone or wood or other materials in things like Japanese castles. Often they were used in conjunction with foot spikes placed on the ninja's feet further allowing for more climbing prowess. But one of the not well-known abilities of the Shuko is that they were strong enough to block a samurai sword. You might have heard the legend that a ninja was so quick they could block a sword with their bare hands. Well, they can't, but they could block the sword strike with the Shuko because it was comprised of steel. So they would block the attack with one hand, grab the blade with the other, then disarm the samurai and use their own sword against them. It's devious. Number 2. Makibishi Now, it might sound like a fancy name, but the very simple term for makibishi is spikes. Or in this case, spiked objects that would be left on the ground for their enemies to step on. This particular weapon shows one of the greatest contrasts between the ninja and the samurai, as a samurai would fight head-on and try to beat its foe with pure skill, while a ninja would use things like the makibishi in order to trip up the samurai or alter the playing field to their advantage. Furthermore, these spikes could be used to ensure an escape. While the armor of the samurai is strong in many places, these spikes were made of steel and could easily pierce the footwear of most samurai. A samurai would never run from a battle, but a ninja most definitely would, and given their size, they could easily carry them in a pouch and unleash them with relative ease. Number 1. Kuni 
If you're a fan of the anime Naruto, you know all about Kuni. These throwing knives were very popular amongst the ninja, as they can be used both as tools in the field and weapons when in a pinch. And they were something that many feel were developed by ninjas. And they're something that many feel were developed by ninjas for ninjas, though farmers were able to use this tool as well. Regardless, much like a shuriken, the kuni were adapted in many ways by ninja to fulfill a variety of needs. As they were made of steel, they could be used to puncture things like rock, wood, and other natural materials to do things like break into a room or climb a castle wall. Then in battle, it can be used as a knife of sorts, being able to puncture enemy samurai in a variety of places, and ensuring injury because of their length, which would ensure a deep stab. Plus, like shuriken, they could be thrown and force the samurai and other foe to block or dodge them, allowing the ninja to get in close for the kill. This highly useful tool has been adapted in numerous ways, including being attached to a rope or chain for impaling and then drawing foes close. If that sounds familiar, it's because it's the trademark move of the Mortal Kombat character Scorpion, who in the game is indeed a ninja assassin. Thanks for watching! What did you think of these amazing ninja weapons? Which one was your favorite? I like the ninja stars. Did you know of any other weapons that the ninjas used? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.